Do you know who Gabor Mate is? Yes. Yeah, he's sort of glorified in this space, I think, a lot. Uh, and, you know, not, he does great work. Yeah. Um, sometimes I think he tilts to one side of the story a little bit too much, but that's my biased opinion. So he, I love his definition of addiction, which I think you sort of echo in the book is sort of, we have an internal pain or trauma or discomfort. We seek outside substances to medicate that or to make the pain go away. And regardless of the negative consequences of our behavior, no matter how much we stop, we, or how much we want to stop, we can't. And then I heard recently, I think a colleague of yours or friend, I'm not sure, uh, Andrew Huberman described addiction as the narrowing of things that bring you pleasure, mm -hmm. which I thought those are two kind of nice ways of describing it because oftentimes people aren't in so much pain that, right. mm -hmm. but, and you give a couple examples of that in the book as well. Um, I guess where, do you fit on that understanding or how do you apply that to different cases and different people in different situations? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I'll first start by pushing back a little bit on the Gabor Mate definition yeah. that you quoted. Um, because th that his, that, you know, that conceptualization, conceptualization is, is, um, what's sometimes referred to as the self-medication hypothesis, which was okay. originally yeah. postulated by Sander Rado, um, a European psychoanalyst and an acolyte of Freud, who came up with the idea that, oh, the reason that some people can't use substances like alcohol in moderation is because they're self-medicating an underlying psychiatric disorder or emotional problem or psychological distress. And if we could just address that underlying problem, then they would stop being addicted. The problem with that is that it is true that some people begin using substances or engage in, in, in addictive behaviors to self-medicate, you know, an underlying problem. But a lot of people who get addicted don't do that at all. Uh, and they get addicted because they started using a substance to have fun, or they were curious, or their doctor wrote them a prescription for it, and so they were exposed to it. And the the point here is that there are actually lots of doorways into using addictive substances and behaviors. And frankly, one of the biggest risk factors for addiction, especially in our world today, is simple access. If you live in a neighborhood where drugs are sold on a street corner, you're more likely to try them and more likely to get addicted to them. And even if you don't particularly have genetic vulnerability to addiction, in today's world, almost anybody can get addicted, especially to digital media, digital content, and digital devices. So I, I really like to emphasize that it's true that, you know, underlying trauma or psychiatric illness or psychological distress can be the doorway into addiction. It's, it's not the only doorway. And frankly, you can have the perfect upbringing and the perfect family, the perfect job, uh, a great house, everything you ever wanted, and you can get addicted. Uh, so I just, I just like to really emphasize that. In terms of the, you know, Andrew Huberman's comments, the sort of narrowing of the focus. Yeah, I mean, I think that really captures very nicely the ways in which um, addiction is the gradual process of overvaluing certain short-term rewards mm -hmm. and losing sight of other long-term rewards, especially those that don't immediately make us feel good, but that require the investment of time, energy, et cetera, over very long periods of time. So this kind of, um, kind of a, what's sometimes referred to as temporal discounting or a shortened temporal horizon, um, you know, which is very much like limbic brain or lizard brain survival mode must get this thing right now because mm -hmm. it's fundamental to my, to my survival. So addiction is in many ways the brain confusing the object of desire for something that is necessary for survival when in fact it's not only not necessary, but it's actually leading uh, to our demise. 